So before we even get started, I just want y'all to know that I've been trying to think of like an intro song or an intro phase all weekend before I started recording, but I just can't come to grips yet of what my intro is going to be. I don't really want to do, I told y'all before, I don't want to do like a whole intro, but eventually I'm going to have like a cute little phrase or a cute little song that I sing until, you know, I come to grips. So today, if you guessed it, we are going to be making some candles. Um, I think it's really important that I go ahead and get a candle um, video out there. I am starting, well, update time. I am. Um, I signed a contract with a local mobile massage therapy company. Um, I'm going to be teaching candle making classes um, two to three times a month. And I'm really excited. So I figured I could get started with y'all and let y'all in on how I make my candles in the whole process. It's going to be fun for me because I can get some practice in. And it's going to be fun for y'all to see because I've only been doing them virtually. I haven't done any in person. I'm going to have a class of seven. So I'm really, really excited. Um, Today I am doing a custom order for my cousin-in-law. She wants to do... um four different scents of three candles so she's getting a total of 12 candles um i'll show y'all what they look like like the jars and the size of them in a bit so i'm going to jump right into it i don't want to do too much talking um i am going to take this pot and fill it up probably about halfway um i'm going to be doing the double boiler method today so that's where you put water in the pot and then um you add the wax container to the boiling water and that's how the wax is going to melt so we're going to fill this up y'all i'm also working on my angles so y'all got to work with me i'm i'm really practicing today so that, you know when i get big and all on youtube i'll be done had my little mistakes and hiccups so we're gonna fill this up and I use the same pot so it has like a natural, I guess you could say, field line that it's created. Um, I do not cook in this pot anymore. It was one of my Okay, y'all, so while the, um, I'm going to turn the water on so it can start getting hot, we are going to measure the wax out. Um, I use a wax calculator just because I'm really specific. Um, there is like a formula or ratio that you can use to measure the wax for how much, um, how much wax you are going to need for each container and it's also going to give me how much fragrance oil i need to use so i use an app and um the app you have to do the water weight so that's basically where you take the jar you put it on a scale and um you tar the scale and add water to it and whatever amount of ounces that it gives you for that candle is the water weight so you enter the water weight you enter your percentage of fragrance oil that you want to put in there and then it'll um ask you how many candles for that size i um am doing four different scents today so um Lost my train though. Oh, I'm doing four different scents today, so therefore I'll have four different measurements. I'm actually going to get all of them and write them down on a piece of paper so y'all can see. So hey, I'm back right. and I have this some form of setup I got going here. So what we're going to do is the eight ounces first. I'm going to actually measure out the full um, amount of wax for six of the eight ounces. So I'm going to put it into the big one, and since I'm doing two cents for those. I'm going to melt it in the big one, and then I'm going to pour it in the little one to mix the fragrance oils. Okay. Um, so, what you have to do is you're going to have your scale. And I know the, the view is kind of off, but I'm hoping y'all can see what I'm doing. So, you're going to have the scale, and um, you just want to start it fresh. So, I turn mine completely off, and then I turn it back on. And then once you sit this down on here, it's going to give you the weight of the actual container. I'm going to push the tar button. So that way, what I pour in here is going to be the exact amount. So I'm going to pour in 36.6 ounces of wax, okay? And the wax is 100% soy. It's very flaky and soft. It literally looks like mashed potatoes. Well, you know, the dried mashed potatoes that come in the bag. So we're going to measure out 36.6. 
and it's good to have one big um one big pour and one small one just for activities like this um it's, it just makes it easier so i got a little too much in there i'm going to take that back because one thing about it you want your measurements to be as exact as possible only because if you don't you basically end up wasting a lot of wax and then usually at this point i add um um co uh, coconut oil but i am currently out coconut oil just helps smooth the tops um once you pour them it it just makes it better and then also once the candle has settled and cured it's really good for your hot pour so i'm going to change the angle so hold on okay right. so i'm back i'm going to go ahead and sit it in here because the water is hot enough it doesn't necessarily have to boil you don't want it to boil because that means it could possibly melt the wax too soon so i'm going to have it in here and um it depends sometimes it it will melt pretty quickly and then sometimes it may take a minute like literally it's already melting down i don't know if you can tell that it's moving um but it starts to melt pretty quick once you get it in there I am going to do a time lapse of it completely melting so y'all can see what that looks like. All right, y'all, so now that it's actually fully melted, I'm going to insert a thermometer because you want your wax to get up to 185 degrees um, before you pull it off of the water. So I'm gonna grab a thermometer. You can use any thermometer. I'm just using a regular food thermometer that you can get at your local store or whatever. I ordered mine on Amazon. Um, so let's see where it's at. It's getting up there. Alright, so it's reached 185. I'm going to pull it. And since we are going to be um, pouring half of it into another one, I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do that. So while it's still hot, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the next one. I'm going to take my scale. Oh, yeah, I can't see. There we go. I'm going to take my scale because you want it, you want to pour it while it's still that hot. And I'm going to tart a little one. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour 18.3 ounces of this wax into the smaller one because we're splitting it. all right so now i have my two fragrances one of them is going to be apple harvest don't pay attention to the container so apple harvest and then the other one is a coconut lime verbana i'm just going to pour some of that back just a little too much so i'm going to play the teeter tire game Okay, so now they're both even. I'm going to pour this one into there. 
This is the 2.1 ounce fragrance oil for each one. And you want to stir for close to a minute on each one. That way, the because the wax is already broken down, but you want to make sure that the wax and the fragrance oil mixes really well. I'm going to try to do this double-handed so I can mix both of them. So you go, you go strongly about a minute. I try to, sometimes I'll count how many times I've stirred it or I'll just kind of put a timer on a minute. All right, and now once you stir them, you're gonna let them sit. So right now they're currently at 156 degrees. You're gonna let them sit until they are at 145 degrees and then we're gonna pour them into um, the jar. They're gonna be ready to go. So you got your wax, you got your fragrance oil, and you have basically um, made your candle on other things. You just got to pour it, and it has to set. All right, y'all, we're back, and we're about to pour all six. I already have them um, mixed in well, so they are down to about 125 degrees. Um, I usually like to pour at 145, but 125 is fine. I'm gonna try to do this so y'all can see it as good as possible. You wanna make sure you pour it so where you're not pouring in, you um, can't cut the wick and put the lid on. So I stop right there. And you usually want to pour really slow, but I'm trying to get these out because I don't want the um I don't want the wax to get too hard. So that's good. And for the next one, we'll try to pour it the opposite way this time. So y'all can really see. Let's see how this goes. one of these six uh -oh. all right and what i do like to go back so i do have just a little bit i'm just going to add just a little bit more just in case i don't have it up high enough because sometimes it looks like it's high enough and then once it solidifies i could add a little bit more Alright, so those are good. Definitely gonna go back and add to these. Alright, so those will sit. Um, depending on how hot the wax is, sometimes it'll take, I mean, maybe an hour to cure. Sometimes it'll take um, two hours. It just really depends. And since these are already sitting and the wicks are locked in, I don't have to touch these anymore. Um, they are actually doing really good. So I'm actually going to repeat the same process with the four ounce. All right. So just to close out, that is basically how you do try this again that is basically how you make candles um i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe if you have any questions please ask me i love to answer questions about candles because it's so fun and um the next time you guys see me it'll probably be an update for how my first in-person class went um if i have the time i will record a video of these being solid and how they turned out um yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time bye